Welcome to the Ogano Art Family. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you got a question, hit us up on the Instagram and all the other social media sites. That'll be down in the description below. So, what we're going to talk about is uh, criticism versus hate and how to do how to deal with haters. Now, a person with the intent to give criticism is a person that wants to see you evolve and grow within your artwork. Although they see some flaws, they will point out some of the flaws. They'll tell you what you need to improve on. And now, hatred is just playing out plain negativity that just wants to, that the person's intent is just to bring you down or so. And with that intent to bring you down, there's nothing constructive within the, uh, the hatred whatsoever. And now, from personal experience, I remember I was uh, posting my artwork on a Facebook group. And one of the admins of the Facebook group was actually commenting on each of my art pieces, saying uh, like really negative things about it. And this would happen like every week or so. And I was like, oh, don't you have anything better to do in my head or so? But what I've found out is that uh, love and hate, they're pretty much two sides of the same coin. What he was doing was he really just wanted my attention at the end of the day for posting or commenting on each and every one of my artwork. What he craved was attention. And what you have to do to deal with people like that is not give them that attention. It's, it's same, same, thing with, same thing with love. Both require the attention of the uh, recipient. And I feel if you have a hater... And I feel if you have a hater, it's a wonderful thing because they're giving you all this attention. It's the same thing if a person loves you. They'll give you all this attention. Uh, what I feel that haters do most is they are similar to how uh, a fan that loves a person or loves someone that they admire, they constantly give them attention, commenting on their videos or their artwork or so. Same thing with haters. They will constantly uh, give the attention to that person. I feel at the end of the day, uh, really and truly, haters just want a hug. They just want a hug. They're like the, the sunaris. You know, they, they portray this outward appearance of anger and I don't like, I don't like you or, or so. But at the end of the day, deep down in their core, they really like you. They admire you, but they're jealous. And at the end of the day, although they would love your attention, that's what they feed on. They feed on your attention. And the only way to uh, to not feed the hater is to not give it attention. You know, focus on the people that are supporting your work. So when you're producing artwork or going to sleep, uh, whatever you're thinking about comes into existence internally. So, for example, if you're thinking about that hater, it'll come into existence internally. You will want to be thinking about all the people that are actually supporting you. And I'm sure that some, the, uh, the amount of people that support you greatly outweigh the, the amount of haters. So really and truly, it's based upon where we place our focus on. Where do we want to give our attention to? And so a positive thing that you can extract from the hater experience is that uh, you have to think of it this way. Uh, when, you become a, when you become a success, for example, when you're gaining a lot of traffic or so for a, a, a comic or a, a YouTube channel or so, uh, you're going to get people that love your work and you're going to get people that hate your work. Uh, there are going to be... And you have to think about it this way. There are going to be like a, a huge amount of people that like your work and a huge amount of people that hate your work. So compare that huge amount of haters, for example, to and compare it to the that one or two hater that you're receiving. And so depending on where you place your focus, for example, if you're placing your focus on the, the haters, it will completely, it will totally derail your journey and you'll be hindered because mentally the... The, uh, the negative energy from the haters are mentally affecting you. Therefore, it will affect your creations. However, if you're focusing on the people that are actually supporting you, this will help improve your creations. So it really, 
depends on where you're placing your focus on. And so like mind mastery is at play in here. And my props go to the successful content creators on any website because they have to deal with a lot of, uh, you know, BS and really and truly is based upon where they're placing their focus on. I know like in uh, some of their um, interviews, a lot of content creators, they'd say that, oh, before the likes and the dislikes used to affect me. Now it doesn't anymore. That's due to their their mind mastery. You know, they're seeing this as a, a neutral stance. It does not affect them anymore. That's the state that you want to achieve, the mindset that you want to have. And, f and first and foremost, it comes with not letting it affect you. Being neutral, you know. Just chill out. And that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Join the family by hitting that subscribe button down below. It's a red color. On uh, later. I'll see you in the next video.